A civil society group known as the Network of Corruption and Trafficking Initiative has accused the former governor of Delta State, Ifanyo Kowa, of looting over 500 billion naira of Delta State funds in his eight years of administration as governor of Delta State. This exposure was made at a media briefing by its executive director, Investigation, Tega Ogunedoro, in Abuja on Tuesday when members of the organization addressed the media on its findings over the looting of state funds by the immediate past governor, his family members and his cronies over a period of eight years as the chief executive of Delta State. The organization did not also spare the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, and the Independent Corrupt Practices and Other Related Offenses Commission, who are the leading anti-corruption agencies in the country, for turning a blind eye to the monumental corruption allegations against the former governor and his family members, which was transmitted to the agencies by NACAD. We are at a loss at why the EFCC and ICPC have not started investigating and prosecuting him despite looting over 500 billion naira from the state money. We have submitted petitions to such effect for months. If the EFCC will constantly turn a blind eye to such corruption that happened under Okowa, which makes that of ex-governor Yahaya Bello's 88 billion naira a child's play, then they should let Yahaya Bello walk Scott free. It seems that the EFCC is in bed with ex governors from the South South. When these guys finish their tenure and we avail these anti corruption agencies with information that could help uh, people get back their funds, we find out that we don't see prompt actions in bringing these people to book. He says it is disheartening that after painstakingly investigating and auditing the financial records of Delta State and reporting the same to the EFCC and the ICPC, nothing is yet to be done till date. We have done a thorough investigation. We have made our work easy because we have done that. We can that and say, verify these are our claims and see if it is true. When you do that, you have done what you're supposed to do as a very responsible organization. They have not, to the best of my knowledge, called us any day to come and adopt that. If they call us today, why are we doing press conference if they have done that? If we have seen that, there are actions some way about these investigations. I don't think we have any reason to even bother you people here. So we are worried because the silence is so loud. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.